And she's like, you know what else I like? I really like having my ass eaten. I'm like, oh, I've never done that before. Send like, me your meal log, please, of the meals you've had in the you past. You got my fitness pal on deck <laughs> real quick. How many fiber gummies are you having per day? <laughs> Do you <laughs> swallow your gum? <laughs> Do you Ew. swallow uh, your gum? Oh yeah, after you're done, you're like, I get there. <laughs> everybody welcome back to another episode of real sensitive guy hours this is episode 51 and i'm joined today by the hosts with the most to my right we've got savvy Travi. what's up everybody malomi is oliver what's going on everybody happy to be here <laughs> <laughs> just like a little too long of a pause there i don't know it made me uncomfortable yeah i was i was shaking in my britches <laughs> and to the bottom right we've got the green boy william Lakonk. what's good everybody check him out on twitch at lake conk at lake conk please it ain't Boys. easy being green it's uh it's a new yeah, day no. it's a new string of events that have happened in the land that is the world um but it's safe to say that there were some criminals bring bought back onto the streets, two of which needed lifetimes in jail, but somehow they didn't get into it. R. Kelly. Trump pardoned them. <laughs> Lil Wayne and Kodak Black's back on the streets, boys. And if, yeah, anything, yeah, if Lil me, Wayne behaves the way Wayne he talks about up. in his songs... They were both in trouble for like some like weapon charge shit. Yeah, and, dude. I, yeah. Don't, I don't know, man. Yeah. The, isn't that weird? Why does no one... I mean, I guess people probably do talk about it, but like... I've never seen it talked about the fact that presidents, when they get out of office, can just like let whoever they want go. Like, what yeah, is it? Isn't, it is a little strange. Like, coming would, out soon too. Yeah. Would Lil Wayne and Kodak Shmurda? Black and fucking R. Kelly have gotten pardoned by Trump if they weren't famous? Would anyone have given a shit about them if they had committed the crimes they committed and not been famous? No. Well, so to be fair, uh, he pardoned like 140 people, uh, and like 70 of those he lowered their sentences. And most of the people, I was reading about it, I kind of skimmed over it. Uh, a lot of these people were, were on nonviolent uh, drug charges. Um, and a lot of them were released because Kim Kardashian West, uh, maybe soon Kim Kardashian, um, advocated for the people that are just on dumbass drug charges. See, I'm hearing now that uh, we real sensitive guys faxed it and they're not actually getting divorced. Unless that's real sensitive guys faxed. It I don't know what's knows. real anymore. <laughs> well, after I'm today, sure they are. Like with with the changing of or with the, the changing of power um, and all that, and Trump being in Florida, and Mike Pence being at the inauguration in his place, and like everything and going on today, like them closing no the entirety of fucking DC, basically, literally, like, not literally just, Biden not getting like. <laughs> Like it's always such a big thing when you compare like the size of the crowds of like, this pre like this coming in president and the last president the size of the crowds at their inauguration to see how like supported they are for people always use that as like an argument. I yeah. like to see it though. I like to see how big the crowd is, but they're going to get to be a crowd this year because exactly babies who wanted to it's throw a little baby rage fit. crazy. So <laughs> I uh I I drive along the road that directly goes to DC, so we're we're relatively close. All of those roads are closed right now. You cannot get into D.C. no matter what. There was like a shit ton of businesses because I have to follow other businesses for my job. Dude, you can't fucking... Everybody's closed. You can't go to these businesses. It's a little nuts to me that they had to close it down to that level. Extent, yeah. Better safe than sorry, they say. Better safe than sorry. That's, it, that's it was true. just weird saying it. And then, then his speech today, I actually watched the uh, inauguration. All I saw that. nothing, so this would be new to me. Yeah, his, I his literally speech was. His I heard speech about was, it. His speech was pretty good. Uh, he he focused more on um, like the people and not. It wasn't as much of a campaign speech of like him promising of like what he's gonna do. Uh, while he's in office, it was more of a, a we the people kind of speech where we need he, to come he, together in COVID times. He said, I, I think at one point he said, democracy has prevailed. Um, 
like evil all orange this stuff. Cheeto Hitler is gone. <laughs> he did take some jabs at Trump and Pence, even though Pence was there and uh, by basically being there was denouncing Trump again. So he's trying to continue his political career. He's playing it smart. And then, then the yeah, dude, I would have jabbed. I would have jabbed. So I would have. It would have been like a Call of Duty lobby at my inauguration speech. I would have been like, uh, "Get fucked, Trump. Fuck you, you pussy. Use riot shield. Fuck you, pussy. Use riot oh, shield. Pussy. Use riot shield. <laughs> Fuck you." And then Camilla the Harris became the vice president, so she is the first woman vice president. And then the ti- other titles that everyone is putting onto it is she's the first uh, African American. A female vice president, and she's also the first. I think she said, like, I think it was Asian, Asian. Some she's Asian, Asian or something. she's Asian or Latino. Oh, yeah, I think she's oh, Asian. I think it's Indian, like Indian. Yeah, no, yeah. South uh, Asia. I, I, Asia. I don't think, South Asia. So apparently, like she, and I don't know if this is the same person, but apparently, she was like yeah. saying that she was Cherokee Indian or something like that, and there's. And they everybody found out later on that she was definitely not Cherokee Indian as well. No, I'm talking about like the the Eastern yeah, yeah, Indian yeah. people. I don't know if that was her or not that got busted for that earlier though. I think I they know. I think they said this was like the first inauguration that like the like the former like so pr- Trump not going. This is the first time since like Andrew Jackson. Oh, okay. I saw yeah. it somewhere. I was like, yeah. what? Yeah. There's no yeah, way. It's- it is the first one since Andrew Jackson because Andrew Jackson did not um, do it. But if you wanted to consider technicalities, I mean, JFK didn't go to his. Uh, That's fair. Uh, following <laughs> when he had a right, he had a couple right. things. He had a couple other things. Right, he was through his blown mind away that day. by the. Well, recession. also, which was weird, is it wasn't Andrew Jackson also impeached once as well. And he was impeached, but yeah, Trump will be the first president to be impeached, quote unquote, twice. Twice, yeah. I don't know. Not I really first, man. <laughs> you know, we talk a lot of fucking politics on this goddamn show, and we like to spew out opinions that aren't it's educated just been at all. So fucking front and center lately. Hasn't We've been it? living Hopefully fucking history every fucking day. Chill a little after today, literally, maybe it's crazy. Like yeah. they, so, I remember in history books, whenever we got to the point where like modern ish history was well within uh, the at the end of your textbook. The grasp. And, you know, you would see 9-11, you would see, like, terrorism and things like that. And you're just, oh, you're reading through there, bro. And you're, you're reading through it, and you're like... 2020 is going to fucking be in the history books. 100%. All of this shit. Coronavirus is going to be in there. The Capitol storming is going to be in there. Like, all this shit. All of it. It's going to be the, definitely for the book, man. Of the t- terrorism. Brrr, 2020. <laughs> Really? Yeah. That's gonna be the one that like many people don't want to like try to get into because up to that point it was always the nine eleven issue. Most of the people knew what the fuck nine eleven was, knew what happened. So like when you got to that point in the history books or like your social studies class or whatever class that you're getting to this point at, like you're not looking forward to it because you already know it's what you're gonna be talking about. It's gonna be some deep dark stuff. And so it's gonna be that same issue once twenty twenty gets put in history books because Think of all the shitty things that happened. Like we had the coronavirus. We had the capital storming that was like later in its year. We had well, no, um, that was actually in 2021. That was the sixth. Right. So. But like the coronavirus. Think of all the people that died during the coronavirus. Think of like all the tragedies that happened during the coronavirus. I mean, like it was a worldwide ago. thing. It was a worldwide play. <laughs> we try to chill. I, I was somebody was talking to me about things that happened a week ago, and I'm like. Shit, a week ago feels like six months ago, dude. About a week. One hundred percent. So that. much stuff is happening now. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's uh, it's it's wild to me. You know, I'm very uh, I, I'm very all about political issues, especially when I become inebriated. You'll see that in the last episode. Um, but it, honestly, just right now, it just feels like everything's happening too fast, and it, it's it it becomes taxing to fucking follow that well, shit. You know, I saw slowdown. I saw something too. So you know how they usually like they judge people on like their like a president on like their first hundred days in office. They even like a hundred days to like implement things like that. Everyone's saying Biden doesn't really have a hundred days because so much shit is happening. He kind of has to like figure everything out at once. He was starting to do shit today, dude. Like, today. He rejoined. He, 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 re- like he rejoined the Paris too. Accord. He rejoined the the Paris Accord and the Climate Accord. Yeah, that Trump got us out of. He rejoined both mm-hmm. of those. Because I'm, I'm happy for him. 
I'm happy. <laughs> it's a good day in America today. We're a little less of a meme, a little less. I feel like there's still going to be memes. There's still going to be memes. During his speech, he did almost fall asleep during his speech. He stuttered a lot of times. Okay, speaking of people we memed, though, I was thinking about this this week. Like, just thinking about, like, times where people got really outraged and just, like, memed somebody to death, basically. Kind of like what happened to Trump. Trump kind of got memed into the office, and then he got memed out of the presidency after four years. But you guys remember fucking Ajit Pai? And like the net neutrality shit, and everybody thought that he was gonna like shut down the internet and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The net neutrality bullshit. Yeah, and then like ended up nothing happened at all. Like nothing was. T- Not a fucking you know, thing for, for whatever reason, you saying that reminds me of when um they came out with that uh, they came out with that move with King Jong Un and they um North Korea hacked Sony for like a week and a half, and no one could use their internet. Do you guys remember that? Are you talking no, about the interview? No, so that yes, was that's Franco. The You're talking yeah, about yeah, the that's PlayStation the movie. thing? Yeah, like, it got hacked for like over like a oh, week yeah, and a half. It got, got a hack. It got hacked. Yeah, it was insane. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we see a lot of those things where revolutions and shit like just kind of evolve into nothing because it loses steam. Like, you know, what's his face killed himself. We have the whole net neutrality thing. People say, like, revolutions don't happen anymore because everybody's, like, lazy or whatever. But I feel like revolutions happen online a little bit. Like, obviously, shit still has to happen IRL. But, like, I don't know. A revolution can happen. The problem with trying to control the internet is the fact that it's the wild, wild west. You can't fucking control that shit. And it never won't be. Yeah, it's too big now to not be. As long as computers can connect to each other, people are going to find a way... Any way possible. The There's fun. always the dark web. Speaking of dark web, can we let's go ahead and talk about this? Because I want him on the show again. <laughs> dark web intel. Dark web. Deep, deep, no, no, deep it's deep Webby. Trump intel. Okay. Deep Trump intel. He's been. I don't know if we should like air out his fucking dirty laundry in here, but I mean, he posted on what's technically a social media for everyone to see. So. Yep. He's really been like behind this whole Trump is going to turn it around and actually get put in as president thing. Really? And like, what, what kind of stuff is he using to back this like, up? Yeah, uh, like, where's like the evidence? Of, basically a bunch of debunked articles. <laughs> and Jeez. he's he's literally, he's gone full, like, Trumper conspiracy theorist. Like, I think if he had the opportunity, he probably would have participated in the Capitol storming. <laughs> he's so interesting to watch. And a lot of the reasons we laid it out whenever he was on, but... Yeah, you know, and that's why we want to have him on again. Because not because we like agree with what he's doing. I just want to like hear it from from the horse's mouth. You know, I want to yeah. hear like reasoning yeah. behind this. One hundred percent. He's this kid you know with a who... speech impediment who's so self aware enough that he went out of his depression, became this meme, accepts it to the point where he shaved his head to look like Mister White, now and has kept sudden, it shave by the way since then, which was like months ago. Full goatee. And then not only that, he's improving his life, he's moving up, and he was talking about all these ambitious, ambitious plans, and he's making them happen. But at He's the making same time, merchandise for himself. He's also going on these, like, ridiculous political tirades that are retarded. Literally, retarded. at the same time, he's literally getting hypnotized by the Trump cult. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's you know absolutely what, insane. It's you know what's really it's funny? How many people agree with him, too. I, I heard, so someone we all know, the King of Shepherd actually was at the Capitol when he it's was in D.C. during the reading. He was in. No, he he's was, not. Dude, I'm calling the FBI on him. He, he was there when it happened. What, did he go in? I don't know if he went in, but he was there when it happened. Was, no. FBI, get him. <laughs> please <laughs> send me that. Brandon, please yeah, he send was there me that right now. Send uh, me that. I fucking get his ass. Dog. Isn't it, I was like, that's insane. Someone we know was actually there. Yeah, dog. It's actually insane to me that we know somebody that was there. Um, probably like in my head now, he's he's a piece of shit, right? But I have him as my iPhone background because it's hilarious. If you knew it's, this kid, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it is hilarious as hell. It's also really sad, but also hilarious. I don't know if we talked about this when this when the Capitol thing happened. How a West Virginia governor also participated and like videoed himself storming in. Yeah, what and a he, fucking retard. And he ended up having to resign after he just got sworn in in like the middle of December. 
he ended up having to resign because his dumb ass did that. And at first he was like, people started to believe that he was actually like just there and didn't do the actual storming part till they found the video. Cause at first he was like, I was there to film history. That's the only reason. And then they found what he filmed and he filmed himself like, we're in boys, we're in a fucking governor. Oh my God. God. We're not governor, but I don't fucking know. Some, some like smaller some high, person. Like, yeah, some high state government position that he just like a mayor. In. I don't it know. Wouldn't man. Have been, it wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have been that high up. up. He was at the Capitol riots. I just thought it was pretty hilarious that actual Jesus like Christ. government officials are falling and, for this shit. <laughs> and that like that's the sad conclusion that like or realization that I, like I'm starting to come to with some things. It's like you see these things on on like the news, and you're like, every day we stray further and further from God. Like these Facts. people are these people are doing shit that like a- as a kid I never fathomed of doing. And like as an adult, like I still never would ever see myself doing these kinds of things ever. Riots, protests, storming the Capitol building, doing all this degradation. Literally, this last year shit. could have been like an American horror story season. I fucking swear. <laughs> it or like have. fucking house of cards shit, like to be oh honest. My God. <laughs> it's insane. Like that we this version of the simulation is 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 what we got. We live in the American horror story. <laughs> It's it's no. absolutely insane. It's like first so like far, so far the Simpsons prediction has been wrong. We are not sitting on top of our roofs uh in pot and pan armor with guns that was trying to fight off. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed mm. that we didn't go full apocalypse mode today, but you know, we've, soon we've guys soon. gotten a plan and everything, soon. boys. We have a plan. Why are we bringing this up every episode? <laughs> Because we're still waiting for Travis to dr- show us the pictures that he drew Because one of us. these weeks, the fucking apocalypse is going to happen. It's actually going to happen. Because one of these weeks, Travis is going to show us what he drew. One of these I... weeks, I'll finish them. I don't want to show you till I'm finished them all. I would love well, to still do the show in this apocalyptic situation. We just take over like a radio station. Just upload it to no, the No, that's where you have to go. You have to go to a big radio station. Just lock ourselves in and be like, Welcome back, everybody, to the real sensitive guys and everybody on the little tuner radios tunes in every single week. <laughs> the CB radios. This anybody out there? Dollar. Anybody alive? Oh, bro, and then like you see these people that the like podcast. just got they just got in range of the radio tower and they're like looking for survivors. They haven't seen another soul in weeks. They turn on their radio and they're like, "Is anyone out there? Is anyone out there?" They're just like. This is the real sensitive guys. I'm Brandon. I'm <laughs> no, all they hear, all they fucking hear as soon as they tune in to 96.7. So guys, what you guys name your dicks? <laughs> oh my god. My name's Bro, William like, Junior. <laughs> Bro, all right. Wait, top wait, three th- mutations that a girl could have where you'd still have sex with them. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Um, hold on on one second guys i think we have to take a quick break we're gonna put some music on we gotta go uh kill some fucking zombies right now because they're trying to break into the fucking fridge all right what would it take for you guys to fuck a zombie hypothetically hypothetically right so you're in the zombie apocalypse there's this really hot girl right she starts to get infected but it infects her like feet and stuff first would you still fuck her i would be way too scared that she would like turn in the middle of it. Oh, that's fair. worth worth. She's got to be like into some kinky <laughs> shit. Be like, tie me down, daddy. I'm like, we'll do. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. for real. It would be like Zombie Land when the girl fell asleep on his shoulder and then he woke up and she was a zombie. God, yeah, I the- fell for him so uh... hard in that moment because finally, <laughs> have you guys seen Zombie nerd... Land too? Shut up, this virgin nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This he virgin nerd heartbeat. was finally getting some Shut action. Up. And during that moment, he, he lost shit. everything, dude. Lost hey, everything. Hey, but he got some pussy later on. Realized the world had gone to shit. He had yeah. some pussy later on, though. The best kind of pussy. What's that actor's name? Emma God, Stone. So hot. Emma Stone's so fucking hot, especially with the black hair and her blue eyes. Oh, oh my God. Fucking God, dude. Oh, with a my shotgun. God. With a shotgun? Oh, <laughs> Wow, you guys are insane. She can blow my head off any day. I would let her. Yo, high, high, high key. The best tip in that movie is you always you gotta double, double shoot them, shoot them twice, double tap. Yeah, double tap. Rule number one: stamina. (laughs) Cardio, (laughs) cardio. No, that's what it was. Cardio. You're saying stamina. Something I don't have, boys. Enjoy the little things was the best tip. All right, because it was the point of the whole movie. (laughs) Small cock, (laughs) bro. One hundred percent, bro. If you enjoy the little things. 
if you could get stuck in a zombie apocalyptic like scenario with like a celebrity of your choosing, who would it be? Mm, it's gotta I'd be somebody, somebody like badass. Who's like a totally, no, you gotta like, yeah, it's totally insane in this, zombie killer. I wouldn't stuck with like the rock or something. In this situation, <laughs> it's just you and them. Like it's not all four of us and we can combine our things. No, it's just you and them. Me and the rock versus the world, dude. <laughs> the rock. Me and Batista. <laughs> Any WWE superstar, honestly. Yeah, I was um, kind of thinking through like having somebody I'll take super the man alpha like himself, that. Himself, John John Cena. <laughs> so, like in that situation where somebody super alpha like that kind of comes into play, you kind of think about like the dynamic, like the animalistic dynamic. Eventually, you're gonna find other people, and he's gonna out alpha all of them. You're gonna be his number two, maybe not number two, but like number three. You're the OG homie, so he's gonna carry you through the whole experience. You're his Simon little lackey. His vegan. The Daryl to his Rick. <laughs> Literally. The Rick yeah. to his Morty. You just need to be useful within a group. You need to provide value in some sort of way. 100%. So who would it be for you? So are the you saying you someone answer. who's a bitch so you could be the alpha? <laughs> someone who's strong that but was, who's also a bitch? <laughs> that, was, that was kind of my thinking, right? I kind of wanted to be the alpha in the situation. But once you go into a situation where you're meeting up with another group and there's other dudes who are way more alpha than you, then you're kind of fucked. That's why it's yeah, good honestly, to bring somebody the apocalypse, to all that's left is alpha So dudes, I'm not going to go with an alpha. I mean, I guess I am kind of going to go with like an alpha guy, but not like a big, strong guy like what you guys are thinking. I'm thinking more along the lines of survival like guys. So I'm going to go with my man Bear Grylls. Uh, the I, OG I, himself. I think he would be good. But... All the time. <laughs> <laughs> like there's there's clean water right there. Drink your fucking piss. <laughs> I just keep like, looking over and I see fucking Triple H with his goddamn hammer. <laughs> like the other day, Morgan was like, imagine him just charging a group of zombies. <laughs> Morgan, the other day, we were playing some game and he was like, you know what's really gay? The fact that I went to RSGH chat and there's this picture with a bunch of shirtless dudes. <laughs> we're talking about my ideal Watch bodies. And, judge, all and right? Travis said, Will, you can look like this, and then popped a picture of Triple H. I'm dead ass, though. No! There's no way he's ever looking like Triple H. I'm no way ever going to be that fucking huge. Just get some roids. You're good no! To okay. Would you, guys, would you guys do steroids? Hell, no, no way. Why the fuck not? Genitalia shrinkage. Sorry, we at bad. least have buttony and titty growth. It affects everyone differently. All right, and I feel like I'd grow titties. I just feel like I would. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I would grow titties. Uh, I need some uh, ball shrinkage. Okay, that's all I yeah. need. I need ball shrinkage. They're, too, they're too a fucking old man, You got some dude. fucking old clankers down there, buddy? Yeah, dude, so one time, clankers. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but one time I sat down in a bowl that particularly had a very high sea level, and I plopped myself down and went, whoo, a little cold water down there. I had to, like, readjust. You need a Sounds like Brandon man. needs the Sound, bowl koozie. Sounds like your balls hit, hit, hit a little bit of the iceberg. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Anytime Brandon like takes off his pants, it just looks like a grandfather clock from the inside with all the fucking working mechanisms. Oh his balls God. just dangle so fucking low. Yeah, just there's keep a track song of time. <laughs> Literally. Hey man, what if your dick shrunk too? Does that happen, or is it just your balls? It affects everybody it differently. On everybody. It affects everybody differently. <laughs> you yourself, Travis. That's true. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't even want the risk of any of that. No, nah, Travis, Travis is like would get titties. Travis is like, I like my balls. <laughs> Travis would get the luck of getting mine, titties. Mine hang kind of low too, but I'm, I'm okay with it, honestly. They're not like detrimentally low. <laughs> yeah, it's not a problem. It's just, you know, like, you got to be aware of global warming. <laughs> got to be aware of warming, tall grass yeah. that might tickle it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. On that note, would you, guys, I, would you guys like put a little person on your team? Like, like in the zombie apocalypse, apocalypse situation, a little person comes up and like a like, mini, hey guys. like a midget, yeah, you're not or a dwarf. That's... Yeah, there you go, there you go. That was the. Oh, dude. I mean, oh, I mean, dude. if they're if they're gonna be a or dwarf or the right word to say, I think it's you just say little person. Use them for bait. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like bait out the zombies and then you kill everybody else. Before I was gonna they say if they're dude. gonna be Please helpful help in any kind of way. <laughs> 
like from just, like, uh, like a clock and a dynamite on them and they make like, like from little monkey like, from, like from snow white you just get like dopey or something <laughs> I mean, honestly, in a real life scenario, I was gonna say I'm gonna say no because I feel like they're just gonna weigh down the group in the end because like they can't. All right, uh, Will, you're thinking for the betterment of the group the right now. What about your If fast. you're at a point, if you're at a point where you're linking up with other groups, in all just like unbiased, factual honesty, would a little person have survived that long? No. That's why I use them for bait. So here's the thing. I, I'm not. I'm changing up my my additional person. I'm gonna get. I, I just landed on another buddy space. I've got two buddies. All right. Oh, an I'm ally. Going with okay. like, I'm going with like The Rock, and I'm going with Hornswoggle from the WWE. And I have this idea that it's almost gonna be like one of those uh, Egyptian gods with like the four arms. Hornswoggle's holding a gun in his hand. And then the Rock has a fucking sledgehammer in each fucking hand. He's gonna be and an the unkillable rock is machine. Holding horn swoggle in like a baby carrier. In a baby carrier, exactly. Unstoppable, dude. Literally, a no zombie at least could survive that. I don't think any number of zombies could survive that. No <laughs> human could survive that. Because what yeah, are you gonna do? Yeah, Take probably. the Rock hostage? He's too fucking strong. And even if you did, Hornswoggle's there to fucking snipe your face. Literally, he's gonna come out from under the ring. Speaking of the Rock, when you least expect it. You guys see that he keeps coming out with like a bunch of like drinks and stuff. Like he's doing tequila now. He has a yeah. bunch of other stuff. He's he's like the same as Snoop Dogg. He completed the he completed life. He's just doing side quests now. Literally, that's all he's doing. He has right been now. for I think even longer than Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I don't know. I, have you seen some of these people's ridiculous regimens of like The Rock waking up at 4 a.m.? He has his first breakfast. He goes to work out. The man has, has eight breakfast. meals a day. It's insane. And it's because he burns so many fucking calories because He's of like his body mass and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. That's why he has to eat eight meals a day. And like the amount of food that's on each one, it makes like it's all healthy. It makes. It would make me sick. Like there are videos of people like following or like doing this, like eating eight healthy meals, like full size healthy meals a day. They did that for like a week. They couldn't make it past the first day. They made it past like meal five, and they were like, "I, I want to throw up right now." Yeah. Th this man burns so many fucking yeah. calories. And when he's working he, on a he's movie, used he has to, to worry it. about that shit. Like when you're working eight hours a day on a movie. That there's no time to fucking eat. And so literally one of his concerns is every time he's working on a movie, he has to implement like protein shakes throughout just yeah, to maintain yeah. the level of calories that his muscles are burning. Because you can't like not you can't lose your bigness on a movie that the whole plot depends on you being huge. Exactly. <laughs> That's fair. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, the man has the determination and the body of a Greek god. Yeah, so, no, like, fucking respect for like, like mad respect that, for that. Mad you must work out, for especially that grind. when you're doing a movie. You're probably working out like mad respect every for the time grind you're not when it comes set. to the Rock. Fair, yeah, that's probably true. I mean, hell, he has a TV show coming out right now. He's, He's been in a bunch of TV shows. No, Wait, but he has one based on his life that's coming out. Oh, I got you. What is it like a sitcom or what? What is it like a reality uh, show? It, it's like, I guess it's like a sitcom ish. Like the Big Show show? <laughs> no, it's Big called... Show already did it, Rock. Come on, man. I, I forget what it is. Have you guys seen it a... on Netflix? The Big Show show? The Big Show show. The no, Big Show uh... literally has a sitcom. What? Where he has like three daughters, and it's the struggles of being a dad, a single dad, as Big Show. <laughs> Never He's heard a single Big show dad? <laughs> He like He's beats a... up other parents and teachers and stuff. It's pretty fucking great. <laughs> it sounds kind of crazy. What the fuck? I need to start watching this. The right big away. show show. Watch it, bro. The big show show. show. <laughs> okay. I think I'll pass on that one. Clever name. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't like it. I've got too many fucking call me Kevin YouTube videos to watch. Call me Carson. I uh honestly I. That's my only thing that I really consume nowadays. Now that the Mandalorian is not around, and um, I've kind of watched my favorite shows twice over now at this point, and it's like the only thing that I've really got left to watch is fucking YouTube. Hey man, Mandalorian comes out again this year on Christmas, so too far away. I got I fucking love Star Wars so goddamn much, and I don't. 
my the the worst thing about it is is the movies except for the third one. I've talked about this many times, but like the best thing about it is the side lore. You know, all of the comic books. If you Yeah, dude. And the and, and the novels too. Oh my god, the novels were amazing. The ones yep. about like um Han and Leia's kids. Doug, there's this like 2-hour uh series about the darth vader comics this guy star wars theory if you've never watched this shit go binge watch this shit but this two-hour video of the darth vader comics and he narrates them does the voices he does editing on it so that way like whenever darth vader takes out his lightsaber you hear the lightsaber in the comic it's insane content and you can just sit there for hours and consume the fuck out of it. You don't even need to read the comics. This boy li- reads it to you. Just the Darth Vader insane. comics alone, though, I would also recommend because Amazing. holy fuck, Darth Vader is so badass. He's so powerful. Um, another thing. How they are, I love man. Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth I was watching Maul's better. More, like video, Shut like, up, you edgy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Who would win? so that I never the, this guy the same guy said he was going to make a Darth Maul versus Darth Vader. Um, and Darth the- Vader would roll his shit immediately. What about General know. Grievous? What about General Grievous? I don't know. I think Grievous gets probably beat by a lot of the Sith Lords too, just because they have the Force. Yeah, Grievous is irrelevant, to be honest. Grievous is kind of garbage, actually. All right, oh, he killed a lot of Jedi's. He probably fucking killed younglings, like pussy. What are you, Anakin? <laughs> Dude, Anakin's my favorite character. I wish you there was this Anakin. like. He is Darth Vader, bro. He is Darth Vader. What are you on about? But the Your thing about Darth me. Vader is is that he is so limited by is. his body suit. Because if you don't know anything about the lore behind it, Darth Vader's suit was specifically made to limit Anakin's abilities. It literally because hurts Darth Sidious was afraid of him. It hurts him. It like he's in constant pain. Yep. It like the, so they were describing how his uh, his the connections to his legs because he got his legs cut off would snaggle on the flesh that he lost. And he kept the the suit the way it was because it channeled more of the dark side in him because he was pissed. The fact yeah, literally. Was Imagine if you were in like full body pain, like agony 24 seven, like just walking around. How angry of a person would you be? Oh, <laughs> I'd be pissed. Yeah, but like sure. that's that's a testament to Darth Vader's power. I fully believe that even with his suit's limitations, he would roll Darth Maul. What about Yoda or Darth Vader? All right, in in the suit, Yoda would kick Darth Vader's ass. <laughs> if they ever had a, like a real fair one on one fight, straight up flat battlefield, you know, three lives battlefield, Fox only, <laughs> Yoda would win. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, dog. Um, it was really weird uh, recently, kind of a change of topic. I don't know if you guys get the same feeling uh, ever, but whenever two versions of my life converge, it's the weirdest feeling ever. And this past weekend, my parents on my dad's side came down to Virginia and met Oliver, met Bailey. So those two worlds collided. This This past life that I had with my when Other worlds collide family. yep my college life when converged and like everything came together in this beautiful unison and it was like this is fucking weird <laughs> yeah you weird. really have kept those lives very separate all these years yes like you always go there or until now yeah yeah, yeah i don't know I, I just felt like it was it was I've always gone there, so I, I felt like it was a little weird asking them to come down. But when they did, it was a fantastic time. You know, we went out, and I... Did you laugh so hard you thought you'd die when worlds collide? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a little. We went out and got uh, crab the first night, and if you know anything about me or, or my family, like we're crab people, so we... Crab people. Um, we it tastes like crab. I was like, I'm going to start with one pound. And then the guy's like, all right, fair enough. Went on to the second pound. Went on to the third pound. And we're just scarfing this shit down. And this guy's like, oh my fucking god. The bill came up to like 300 bucks, I think. That's yeah, how my mom's side of the family is too, because they're all from Baltimore. Was it your treat? 
So when we sit down, we wreck crap. <laughs> you wreck like a bushel when we sit down as a family. Oh, yeah. oh we, yeah. We get like a bushel or two, yeah. So here's the thing. I keep consistently getting roasted on the way that I consume crab. How do you guys eat crab? How do you, what do you, I, mean? you, you know know It's like a crab. whole fucking process. You depends on the crab. Depends yeah, on the crab. Thing. First, I break off all the little legs, eat the meat that are on the little legs. Then I break off the big legs, eat the meat that are on the big legs, bust open the big legs with a hammer, eat all the meat inside of the big legs. Um, I guess the arms, the pincers, you know. I guess and what, then, uh, I guess what I Brandon wants... I rip do that you little use thing butter? The butt part. Do you use butter? What I Brandon don't. wants... What no, I Brandon wants... I don't. Okay. I, I don't use butter. Because I think what Brandon was trying to get to is, like, how you eat it with your butter and stuff like that. Because we've had this conversation before on, like, how each of us have eaten it with the butter. No, Brandon, dude, it, straight up just eat the meat. As long as the crab has been already seasoned with Old Bay. Brandon loves Old Bay, yeah. Butter yeah. Soup. So what I do is, is I crack he that makes bitch crab open. butter soup. And I Literally. finesse it so you get the biggest pieces out. Because if you don't get the big piece out, you're a loser and you're not good at opening crap. You get the big piece out, you finesse it, then I break it in half, throw that in the little tub of butter, and you let it soak. That way all the uh, bullshit of the butter gets inside the meat. You take it out, drip it off, <laughs> drip it off, and you eat that whole thing. And it's just a combination of salty butter and that crab meat. Whoa. It's amazing. It's all right. I don't really like your uh, butter. I wouldn't. Yeah, I think the meat alone yeah. is just so good. All I agree with that. Yeah. 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 I rarely. I. I like You're butter. Weird that, but I respect your eating decision. I, I, I like butter. <laughs> I like butter with my crab meat. <laughs> <laughs> not yeah. not to the extent that Brandon does. Brandon yeah, loves I would it like, way if too butter much. Butter is like there. I will if I and I get like yeah, a I'll dip meat. it every once the in a while. Is, the way I pick crabs, I pick it little by little. So most chunks I get are like not even worthy of dipping in something anyway. I'm just basically like that's eating fair. little by little till I'm full. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm not we. I'm not really like Brandon a lot. I don't like to go pound. Put for that background there. That was good. Sorry to cut you off. What do you mean it was what good? It made him sound do? better? Yeah, dude. How's that? I hear an audible difference. It's not, as, po it's it's not as poppy. Maybe that's a YouTuber thing. It's not as poppy. <laughs> I don't know. It's a YouTuber. You what? You hear an audible distance or difference. difference? Yeah, yeah. It sounds good. It sounds better. Oh, my God. As long as he says so, man. Wow. Sure, we're, just, we're just doing everything Brandon wishes, I guess. He's yeah, the boss. You don't not have to. Not being our own. <laughs> that is, that not is being always an man. option. No is always an option. <laughs> uh, no, I am going to vape into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> fucking unacceptable. <laughs> if I, no, we give Brandon the creative control because he does all the creative work. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But we did have a conversation. Put it together. If if Brandon and Oliver remember the conversation that we had outside of the uh, bar on New it. Year's, like what Brandon is fine with is me and Oliver potentially trying to take over the clips channel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, when is the last time a clip got uploaded? Oh, very probably, like, it's probably, been a while. Probably like three months. A lot of content there. there. Good, I liked the clips channel. Yeah, I watched actually a lot of those. We what was not the, bad. What was the one video that has the most views? Be uh, it's, it's the one with, it's the, the, one with the naked call. girl. And how many views does it have? It's like over five thousand. Damn. Yeah. Clip it, so, chat. But like, yeah, we're trying to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're trying to get that. Shit I mean, like obviously, that. every episode is just not going to have that content to put that headline. No, but, but we need to. But we need to go through uh, the every episode has at least five moments of pure gold. I would say. I would say three. I would say three. I would downgrade you as, to three. As Four, a matter, that's my final offer. As <laughs> take it or leave it. As a matter of fact, I think it's perfect. No, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Now, Donald Trump, I need you to take the votes and put it towards Russia, okay? We are going with four, <laughs> four clips per channel. Good. Yes, we will wire you your money. <laughs> Change all the votes from Trump to Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> Trump, take the delegates. <laughs> uh, uh, did you guys see that picture of Bernie looking pissed? Yeah, <laughs> He's sitting on the yeah. bench. He's got yes. his Elvis on. 
Yeah, yes, dude, no one is pissed. no one. I'm sure like we say we're pissed because it's like, oh my god, it's been nothing but politics. You know who probably is the most pissed? The actual like good politicians over these past few months are probably the most pissed. Because they're like, oh, I'm they're seeing curious. like basically my entire career made a joke in front of me by these people. Yeah. It's fair. All right, I guys. Think most uh, politicians feel like once Trump got into office. If you were to turn gay, would you guys be the giver or the taker? First of all, hold the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Will on you this. Like, you can't what? go into a conversation yeah. like that and expect like not uh, any of us to cop ask like where this fucking thought comes from. Yeah, Why are you thinking can't. these things, B? Uh, actually, I there's can't. a good reason on the podcast. Are I you that heartbroken from your last breakup <laughs> that you're so, thinking about just taking some fucking hard cock? Uh, okay. Will, you know. That was a little aggressive, Will. <laughs> Calm the fuck down there, Chief. <laughs> so, um, this podcast I listened to, Milo Yiannopoulos, or whatever the fuck he was, his name is, was, like, talking about how he was the receiver and how he liked to give blowjobs and everything. And I'm like, all right, so if you need to become gay, like, gun to your head, you have to live if a gay I lifestyle. I need to be... Okay. <laughs> you need to become gay. Yes, in, in this hypothetical world where it needs to happen. Okay. What I would, would I, I would pretend and just not date anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't, because in this universe you are gay and you want to be. Oh shit, you're right. So you don't hate gays like your normal self. I didn't say I did. <laughs> oh, what you what, that Travis? That was you can't say that. that's racist or something <laughs> against that's that's homophobic. That's, that's homophobic. You that's can't say that. Homophobic. That's homophobic. You can't say you can't it on say here. That. I, I didn't say that. Fucking I question, boys. Are you taking dick? Or are you giving dick? I said I'm flexible. I'm. I would be accommodating. He's flexible. I feel like switch hitter. I, in, in this situation, I feel wow. like I would <laughs> never a be a pal. I would hitter. never be a bottom. I could never be the one that takes it. I could be one that gives it. I can never be one that takes a dick. See, this is why people, this is why you'll never get an accurate answer because they're not really putting themselves in the mindset of I'm actually gay. I actually do want to take dick and give dick. I actually want to do anything with a dick because I'm gay. You're thinking as your normal straight self. You need yeah. to think as the gay version of you. Put yourself and in a answer. dick loving mode right now. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, that golden nugget of knowledge came from the man that can I make him so like this it. man has the power to come <laughs> you've come what makes you come <laughs> and then travis is just floating in crisscross <laughs> apple socks i have um <laughs> when people ask what god looks like it's just... Choga, you just see a little wet spot <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is nasty <laughs> mm-hmm. so oliver are you are you giving it or are you taking it my guy Oh God, man! I feel uh, like with his looks, he would for sure one hundred percent be the one that gives it all the way. I, I, I guess that's that's my answer. So I, this is this is I I, I can't put myself in that mindset, you know, because well, I I, I don't your, ever it think your about answer. it. It might be your answer, but I'm the one that said it. I want to hear your ass say it that you're gonna be giving uh, some dick. All right. I'll give some if I was in that situation where I had. What are you to. giving, Oliver? What are you, yeah, what are you giving? What are you giving? I'm, I'm giving a sausage to a <laughs> loyal customer. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my thought process on this whole thing. You know, I as I sit there and think about a hypothetical gay Brandon, I don't like pooping backwards, bro. I don't like pooping. That's a problem. Pooping you know, is kind of nice. You need to relax. Like, what's wrong with you? Oliver's taking it. <laughs> Oliver's taking it. Oliver's taking it. <laughs> you need to relax. Just lay on your stomach, bro. Like, you're the, I didn't say lay on your stomach. That never came out of my mouth. No, it's just I, I, I don't like pooping. It's one of those things that I would rather be doing anything else. So it's like in the set. So you just have to do it because you have to. You don't enjoy it at all. Exactly. Brandon, but you would, you would have everybody wanting to give it to you, though. You know that. That's very true. You're like classic twink. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, You're no, a fucking for sure. textbook. They would want like, you so badly. Like a big I have a Y in my name. 
Like the muscular gay guys. I'm Brandon with a Y. <laughs> like the muscular oh gay God. guys would look at Brandon and they'd be like, boy, I want to snap you in half like a twig. <laughs> oh, I go to a gay okay. bar. I'm getting hit on instantly, bro. 100%. I feel like every person that's straight that goes to a gay bar expects to get hit on instantly. That's kind of the hope, right? I almost want to get hit it's on. It's hope? Or else what? It's not a good gay bar? Well, no. Like, uh, no. So, like, the whole reason, because, like, I've actually had it happen to me. The whole reason that, like, a straight guy wants to go to a gay bar and get complimented is because that means that, like, they have something to, like, it's kind of like bragging rights in a sense. It's like, dude. I feel like that's dirty, though. You're kind of, like, leading people on doing that, aren't you? How are you leading them on? Nah, like, you're cause... Cause... think you're interested just to get compliments and boost your own confidence. That's what girls do. <laughs> Doesn't make it okay. <laughs> he said it, folks. He fucking said it. Uh... No, for sure. So, like... I, if we're going to a gay bar, right? There's got to be a reason. I'm not just going there just to get compliments. You know, because that's not my scene. I'm there for the girls. So I go to a gay bar. It's because one of my gay friends is having a bachelor party. It's because this is their spot. And I'm trying to, like, get acclimated to the city. And they recommended Oh, I thought you place. were saying, like, you're going to the gay bar for the women. I'm like, I got bad news for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's why that's how oh, that's man. why I go out, right? I'm going for the girls mate. who went with their gay friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. High I key. Mean, I mean, what can I say? <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. That might be a scenario that, that, that you can story. That'd be like a romantic comedy type meetup story. That's fucking How'd you guys gay bar. <laughs> a gay bar. People at a gay bar with our gay friends and we met each other. Mom, where'd you meet dad? Oh, and I met him at a gay bar. It all started in a gay bar. I want to take you to a gay bar. Have you guys heard your that? mom's fat ass and said, damn, do you shit with that ass? <laughs> and we hit it off from there. I don't poop backwards, girl. What's good? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so it, within that logic, I think I would definitely give it, you know, there's that poop dick situation, but like. You try, bro. You try. But people would point, always be turning you around. I feel like I feel like gay people are very good with enemas. I feel like their their anal cavities are probably more clean than others. Oh, one hundred percent! I bet they are. I mean, they, they make a really conscious effort to keep it inside and out clean. I feel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's the same issue with like I wipe I mean, my they ass. get their assholes I clean my ass all the time, shower, but I'm not shoving anything up there. People to, like, still do up, that, like, Will. Something. Well, people, yeah, still I... ble- people still bleach them. Yeah, I know they do. Yeah, it's like a definitely big thing. not as common, but still something you can get done if you choose to. So I when I so um last weekend or two weeks ago, <laughs> yeah, I went I to Oliver. <laughs> no. So last weekend or two weeks ago, I went to my sister's wedding, and my she eldest, my, my my oldest brother asked got, one of my bleached? no. Let me finish the story. God dang. Yeah. Um. My Someone oldest, in the Wickheiser family got their my, asshole my, bleached. My, my, <laughs> my oldest brother asked one of my younger brothers, who was like, is ass eating becoming more popular? What the fuck? And I, and I, I, I told him, I was, like, I was like, no, but it's becoming more like you people do. He's like, ah, I never thought I would say that. That's disgusting. Yeah. It's becoming more popular than it was 50 years ago. Or maybe the people that do it are just more comfortable talking about it now. Man. And it's the same amount of people that have always ate ass. Okay, it's who in this fucking insane. call has eaten ass before? I have not. No, have not. Have not. I haven't. You what have. Will? Have? will you have? Yep. Tell us about your experience, dog. What are you? What do you eat? Like poop? <laughs> <laughs> like, so, like, what are you eating? I don't get it. If it's clean, you shouldn't be eating anything, right? <laughs> Why is it um, called eating ass? Um, so, it's why you call it eating around. You're not eating anything. Uh, so eating. basically, all, yeah, that's fair. Doing well. that's, that's fair. all my experience was, was that like this chick was, she was like, I love foreplay. I love teasing all that stuff. I'm like, all right, bet I'm down. I can, I'm down to like, so much down some to clown, stuff. down to clown, <laughs> munch on some muff, like all that stuff. I'm down. All right. Um, <laughs> um so like. I get down there, I do that thing, and she's like, you know what else I like? And I was like, what's that? And she's like, I really like having my ass eaten. I'm like, oh. 
I've never done that before. And she was like, well, I'll like walk you through it. And I'm like, what were okay. her steps? No. Hypothetical yeah, was situation I was trying she to learn. Said, like, what was the tutorial? <laughs> so like there's certain positions apparently that are like really good for like ass eating. Like you like don't downward want downward facing dog. Like downward facing dog. Like anything that that shows like the back because like apparently like when you're laying on your back like in missionary position, it makes it so unless they have a very low hanging asshole. The, like that's not where like the butthole is like kind of located. Honestly, I kind of disagree with you there. You would be surprised how close the asshole is to the vagina, to the opening of the vagina. Were you but, surprised? But in that, but in that <laughs> position, it's it's a very awkward like situation to try to get your head in, because basically in that position you you're going legs like you're changing her diaper just. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Basically, in that position, in the missionary position, you're going nose first into pussy. Like this, this half of your face is like right there, while like your mouth is at the the fucking butthole. Yeah, definitely, definitely would make sense for the back to be showing them. Yeah. So like, you don't want to suffocate. I mean, unless that's your thing, then like by all means, go for it. But like. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to treat it somewhat similar to eating out a girl, but not in the fact that, like, you're trying to literally, like, tongue punch her fart box. You're not trying to do that. You're not trying to literally make a reverse poopy go in and out. You're not trying to have... You're not trying to have your pink snake fight her brown snake in the fucking tunnel of love in there, you know? Yeah. Okay. Basically, all it is is it's if they have a clean butthole, then there is a lot of hand play. So there's like the finger in the ass, all that stuff. Then you can like start like literally eating out the ass. But like if they don't have a clean ass, then like don't go for it. So are you just like yeah, rimming it? Like are you hitting the rim? You're not in a sense. In a sense, you are. Like you're doing a lot of like outside play with it, but you're. But the inside play is very, very, very subtle. Was this like a one night stand you were in? It was a one night thing. So she had cleaned her ass in preparation for asking the yes. guy who was one night standing with to eat. Yep. Some some people might not. Trust me, I would never do it again in my life. But it was a weird experience. Hey, if she had a clean butt, then I guess it's okay. Hey, I don't it's know, bad. man. I I know exactly what it's like after having Taco Bell. You know, you had the on the border uh, Southwest tacos with onions and that hot sauce on there. Literally. How do I know the last time you had Chipotle? How do I know the last time you had Chinese food? How do I know the last time you had Thai food? How do I, think, I know any of that? Ew. I think I need, I need you to send me like a patient information form. Of like, Send me your meal log, please, of the meals you've had in the you past. Got my fitness pal on deck <laughs> real quick. <laughs> You know, how many fiber gummies are you having per day? <laughs> Do you fruit swallow fruit your gum? <laughs> Do you Ew. swallow uh, your gum? Yeah, after you're done, you're like, how'd that get there? <laughs> <laughs> that this is what it tastes to chew five gum. Or, you know what's really, really bad? <laughs> what's really bad if she like ate corn beforehand? to chew five uh, feels. <laughs> like if she ate corn, that would be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> no, I used so to like that when you, ate corn, you pooped out like the literal corn kernels, but I was no. informed that it's actually the skin of the corn kernels filled with your poop. So, actually, what it is it's just like a corn. <laughs> so it's, it's like a, a corn, corn table, bro. Bro. It's a corn fruit gusher, bro. <laughs> I'm literally you can about lay to blow it your and taste hot sugar. I'm about to blow your minds again. It's not that. <laughs> Sometimes it can be that, but, but for a majority of the time, it's not that. Because apparently, our bodies, we can't digest corn. We can eat it, but our stomachs can't digest it. So that's why we poop solid corn. So, oh, if, you ate, poop kernel. <laughs> so if you ate literally nothing but corn for like a week, your shits would just literally be corn kernels. That's all it would be. You, you would crazy. literally be... Jimmy crapped corn. I don't really care. But Jimmy yeah. crapped corn. I mean, I like corn sometimes. That's being the mood. <laughs> That's all I eat. 
I got a cred. You, you probably eat a lot of corn cred chips. Go for the corn, corn poop kernel fact. <laughs> You, know, you got you probably eat a lot of corn chips, Brandon. Yeah. I'm glad that now I know how to, to eat ass. Um and drive fast. You know, uh skip class. I, I, yeah. I just don't I, I don't trust it, you know? I just don't trust Smoke grass. You know, I, I'm not gonna sit there and manage my my whole meals for the week in preparation for my ass to get eaten, you know? I just don't. Why not? This is a what if? Thing. What so if? It's, 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 of a girl. Okay, it, it's it's like eating like pineapple, bef- like pineapples before you, you know, you're about to get some head and make it taste better. You know, it's like do way that. not. It's like way harder than that. Yeah, it's a little bit different. You also have to ensure that your your colon is cleaned out, bro. Also, 100%. like. I could just could never be. participate. Like I could never be the person whose ass was getting eaten. My ass is just too unpredictable, man. Dude, I it's so sensitive back there. Poop brewing down there. I can't I even like, fart without distrusting it. You know, <laughs> I'll sit there and I'll be like, you know, Brandon you're, you're doesn't trust his own ass. So let, why would he let anyone else get near it? He hates shitting. Farting scares the crap out of him. He hates getting fingers put in his ass. He doesn't like reverse pooping. I mean, any like if anybody ever offered Brandon to eat his ass, he would probably shit himself and then hate himself afterwards for it. Dude, I, it's you sit there and oh, that was real, Will. not trusting your own asshole, and you're sitting there like, I'm going to fart right now. There's a very real possibility that I'm just going to shit. I'm just going to shit. I don't think anybody else in this call has that same issue except for you. No, no I, I feel it sometimes. It's after certain foods. Like yeah. there was a time where I was on a pretty much 75% Mexican food diet where I very much felt that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. You know, you just, you just fart and you're like, this feels a little liquidy, but I don't want to get up. Oh, dude, if, it's, if, it's, if, if it's a risky one, I don't know if I risk it. Most of the time, it pays off, you know? Your body's like, all right, bro, we'll hold back the hell gates. But that 1% of the time... You're... Yeah, apparently this is very not healthy for you, but have you guys ever just, like, held in a poop so long you just don't even have to anymore? Yeah, so there's, there's like... Very rare. You can't hold back pee. Pee will forever torment you. Literally, it will get worse and worse and worse until you legitimately have to piss your pants. But like, yeah. if you hold back your poop, it holds it back for a solid 20 minutes. And then you're like, oh yeah, I have to poop again. And then you go to the bathroom 20 minutes later. Yeah. It's still uncomfortable. Definitely. Especially if it was a big one that you're holding back, then it just hurts even more when it comes out. Yeah, you can tell like when you like suck it back in. You can tell you didn't really suck it back in. It's still like there, but it's just not bothering you anymore. But you know it's gonna come back up later. Yep. Yep. It's not. It's it comes not... out, and you're like, "Wow, you've come." <laughs> I knew you goes... would come, but you've come. <laughs> and then the poop just pokes its head out and says, "I have come." come. <laughs> what the fuck is this episode? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. A lot. A lot of. Sh- I've said it a million times three. before, but this is it. If there was any girl viewers left, they're gone. <laughs> Gone. 100%. This, this, this is straight, yeah. straight, straight There's debauchery. That one girl that's like, yeah, I do almost shit myself every time I fart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pants while watching. It's a bro girl. We love you. It's we 100%. love you. Shout out. This show is for bro girls. It's girl, probably for shit your pants, girl. It's brain, brain. It's probably for someone like a like a like an EDGB. Probably for something like that. <laughs> the one girl's like, "What's up, bro? What's going on, bro? You shit yourself, bro? I shit myself." <laughs> the thing is, is uh, we would have these conversations at parties, like these degenerate conversations, and girls would be like, I would ew, have this ew. Too. But after like five minutes, they would get they would involved. Still fucking, they would still yeah. fucking be there. They would be Everybody like, ew, oh my god. Everybody and then poops. five minutes later, they're putting their inputs in on this shit, and it's fucking hilarious. Oh my god, after I have Taco Bell, I have the total shits. And you're like, told you. And then you look her dead in the eyes, and you're like, I'm plowing that mound tonight. <laughs> okay. that that's when you know you've got a pw when you're having a conversation like this and she's like yeah you ever got a poop so bad that when you poop it like splatters under the toilet seat <laughs> oh god that's nasty 
Hey guys, it's your boy. Eat the pussy four four five. Last night I almost shit my pants from your ass. Bro, uh, sometimes, sometimes those liquid shits, they almost what they do is like kind of terrible. create like not a bubble, but like a force a of nature in your mm -hmm. asshole to the point that it the pressure like and the psi like a bubble that just like a bubble that gets bigger and then pops <laughs> yes yes like the psi no. is like so high within your asshole that it's just like, <laughs> Bro, and then the pressure velocity building. that it comes pressure out in on the velocity that it comes out in like gives you like your asshole like a semi like r like indian burn on it like it feels like your asshole is getting Indian burned. Yes, and it, and it just plops one hurts. big rock, oh. literally like spherical rock hard. Boom! Just shoots Dude, down. Dude, my asshole is clean. <laughs> <right now. laughs> one time uh. I was so fucking constipated. One fucking time I felt like uh, Randy one from time, South Park. You're when always I was constipated. constipated. Were you? <laughs> Very constipated. <laughs> I felt like Randy off of South Park when he was trying to birth the oh. biggest turd ever. Oh. See, I, I sat could there not watch the that toilet. episode. I could not watch that episode. I could not. I sat there on the, that toilet for hours. And what came out of my body, I'm pretty sure could be classified as a human. It was fucking huge, dude. You, you shat out the next Bono? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many Curex was it? <laughs> I wish I knew that measurement. I wish I knew <laughs> No, I, I physically, that episode, South Park is, is honestly, it, it's the next thing closest to The Simpsons, where The Simpsons have been like a long running TV show where like they've done debauchery in every episode, they've, they've done predictions and everything, and then there's South Park, which has the most chaotic, debaucherous kind of fucked up shit, and it's still a long running TV series. And so, like, South when Park's that... reactive though. Some some like funny shit happens, and then South Park makes an episode about it. Yeah, which is literally. Also even better. And so, like that episode, when that episode came out, I was <laughs> terrified watching it, just thinking about like what kind. If when you think about it, think about shitting out a piece of poop that big coming out of your own body. Like your asshole is expanding so much it's got a fucking sting i really don't it. like to think about it <laughs> i would be in a wheelchair for like the next like month those are the types of shit. poops where you just got to take off all your clothes Bro, you got to go to that yes. primal version of yourself somebody you, know you do that cry. too if you get a big shit and you know it's going to be a massive one you just start like undressing you're like well i'm not gonna need these it's best to just be able to sweat uninhibited by clothes <laughs> literally literally and it's scary how like that one action makes you sweat and you feel like you've done a full rigorous workout <laughs> afterwards ah, you were like flexing so many muscles probably. you're flexing your ass oh flexing easily, that yeah. lower half so much just trying to push this thing out. that gluteus maximus bro Brandon, what's the time? What's the timestamp on the amount of time that we just talked about poop? Oh, it's got to be probably half the show. Half, definitely half the show. The show's over now. <laughs> uh, before we get into uh, saying goodbye, we have approximately like a week and a half until the fitness challenge starts, boys. Right. Yep. <clears throat> a week sure. and a week and a half. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready to get swole? I'm ready. Ready. The next episode. Cut, After the next shredded. episode, the uh, it starts. It begins, and we can start to reflect upon the changes that we've made within our lives. It, it it's gonna be crazy. I'm really excited for it. Um, real hot boys coming coming up. I'm gonna be the hottest. Lies. Hey, we're all gonna be hot. That's what we should There's do. No hot we should is. Have a female viewer base to rate us, and that's how we'll judge the winner. <laughs> There's no hot is. There's only hot. I feel hot. like all our female viewers are going to be coming flooding back to this episode entirely and just. You know, I almost stopped listening when they were talking about shit, but <laughs> this fitness stuff is a one. A one. I'm definitely going to start watching them more if they keep. I mean, I'll, I'll mute it when they start talking mm -hmm. about poop. But if Triple H keeps his shirt off, I'm totally down. <laughs> I'm totally oh my god. <laughs> totally down for it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've got some Heroes of the Storm to play. If you enjoyed this yes, episode, sir. feel free to leave a like, comment, shoot us an email on Come. Dr. Press at gmail.com. Other than that, it's been Brandon. 
I'm Oliver. I'm Travis. And it's your boy, Leconk. Follow him on Twitch, Real Sensitive Guy Hours, episode 51.